They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've managed to roll a bang ball against the fort and the plan is to detonate it. However, you need an inextinguishable torch to do that from a distance. Figures a plane torch will snuff out when it's thrown, so you need to add some boom powder to make it inextinguishable. Just be glad that beastie let you on. Better get a move on if you want to change things.
Yippee-ki-yay! The Golem of Moth can't both. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. The mega muck in that cage looks like it could cause serious turmoil. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Just get out of the mega muck's way. It's quieter here, away from the sky. Looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate, but you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull, and the gate will come down. The Pishu tribe supports natural evolution on the dogma that only the strong survive. They want to help evolution on its way by conquering the tribes, as they're all too weak in their convictions. Anybody home? He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. He needs a logical reason to surrender the fort without a fight. He recognizes the strength of a good argument and agrees it's for the best. He'll surrender the fort to you. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice.
He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. They've achieved a great thing for the tribe and the land by winning the war. The other tribes will see your side of things with time. Uniting the tribes was a big step on the way, but saving the Tree of Life is crucial if you want to make everyone know the bright side of life again. When you first met, the world was divided and filled with fear, but you've come a long way on your path towards a world ruled by truth and justice. He says it'll take some time for the tribes to come together as one, even if the tribe war has ended. Saving the Tree of Life will be a task you have to tackle on your own. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The Tree of Life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so all the way to the end. It's the Pichu Nanchuk. It's getting lighter out. 